Johnny from Johnny's Motorcycle. And what we have here is a 76 KZ900A. This is uh, belongs to Mark from Georgia. So we're gonna call it the Georgia KZ900. Mark wants us to uh, get the paint off the motor and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So this is a, a uh, what, what we have here is uh, someone put a nice paint job on it it's got actually it's got 75 colors but it's a 76 so what someone has done was they kind of got it ready to sell the, the axle is in too far they got the wrong washers here wrong screws here we're gonna redo all this put the new stuff in there go through the brakes I'm gonna change the fork oil and see what's happening I noticed that one of the seals was leaking a little bit they got the fender on backwards uh, I'm looking it over I see some like uh, like hardware screws here I I really don't have a clue on these risers they look like they're made by an outfit called rocks I don't know who that is but uh, anyway uh, the customer has the original bars for it so he's gonna send them to us we're gonna kind of get away from this here where it looks like someone took a pipe wrench to it he wants us to clean up the switches or replace them whatever is going to be the best way to go and of course we make all this hardware the gauges look like they're a little foggy on the inside but i think we're going to get to that last so we're going to match the colors clean it up nice get the right bars on it and uh this uh gas cap came from furry brothers kawasaki charleston illinois that's pretty cool we we're going to get rid of the chrome cover see he doesn't want the chrome we're, we, we've talked to him about the polished aluminum so some of the stuff that we we're going to save here we're going to save the outer point housing we're going to save the clutch cover but the rest of this stuff has been chromed and we're going to have to get rid of it and put uh, polished aluminum on it the I love polished aluminum because you can maintain it as long as you want you get the luster that you want but it's it's better to uh, eventually I'm allergic to chroming aluminum because we see what's happening right here this is all coming off the cam cover here is coming off right here my finger is at and the worst thing a mechanic can do is work on a motorcycle and have an issue with uh, with the uh, chrome cutting him or something like that. So we're going to take the paint off these carburetors. We're going to take the paint off the motor. But the only way that we could do that is to take the motor out of the frame, disassemble it, and get it vapor blasted over at uh, East Potter Coating. So once we start doing all that, then we're going to get into uh, cleaning up all the chrome. We're going to powder coat the frame. We're going to get him another decal for the front. You can see where all the pitting and stuff is. I don't know if that's pitting or just lots of paint or whatever, but we're going to find out. And it's got these oversized bolts here. I'm not sure what the story is here. Uh, Someone painted this like battleship gray or whatever. Um, he does have a 16 inch wheel. Now, what has happened here on the spokes especially, we get spokes like this from, from Buchanan. Um, we're gonna run with these spokes. We use stainless steel spokes with stainless steel nipples. I'm not sure who the maker was here, but you can see what's happening when you don't use the best stuff you can get. Now it's got a uh, DID rim, and we saw those. Someone's put this together, but the spokes, what happened was someone had the wrong size wrench or something on it, and the plating's coming off them. But There's paint on all these head bolts. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, we Our polisher might be able to get the bluing out of here. I don't know, I wanted to, we've not cleaned the bike up or anything. We're gonna get rid of all this stuff here. And you can see, 
that all the paint that's coming off all over and actually they didn't do a good job of degreasing the motor before they painted it which is not a good thing so we're gonna get rid of all that we're gonna replate the brake rod I'm gonna put some new rubber on it I'm gonna put some new rubber here paint the brackets put some new pins in there and if you come around to this side the bike I mean it's got a 16 inch wheel on it we're gonna put the proper turn signals on the back because this is like um, LTD or something like that front signals now these are 75 only emblems but it's not a 76 they painted it to look like a 75 pretty much but it is what it is we're gonna get rid of all the hardware store fasteners and we're gonna clean up the rear sprocket carrier he wants to get some different shocks on there because these are rusting and as you can see the the chain adjuster is battleship gray or whatever you want to call it and we go to this side and the, you see the chromes coming off so there's really nothing we can do about this so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the paint off here and this is goon too so we're going to replace this one now i noticed there's a bolt here that's marked m I don't know what that's all about and I don't know if it's a bigger now obviously this goes into the cylinder um, this is the line that it follows down in here so I don't know what's happening there however we're gonna get get rid of that we're gonna fix whatever the problem is there we're gonna get rid of this cam cover I'm gonna put something decent on there and we're gonna replate the the spring and the kickstand bolt so our project this is a project but it's not a bad one we're gonna replace this boot here that's all torn up and put a replated banjo bolt on there we're gonna polish out the levers now this is chrome i think we might get something a little better than that I, chrome and aluminum just just don't seem to mix and, and chrome on pot metal is really not a good thing but the best thing that, that i've seen on this motorcycle and i want everybody to pay attention to this when, you, when you're buying a bike you're gonna pay decent money make sure when you turn that bike all the way you got a gap between the fork tube and the gas tank so i got my fingers in there got a gap i'm coming the other way here i got a gap so we have reason to believe this frame has never been in a serious accident so that's a good starter there's a lot of potential here lots of potential the seat looks really good let's go underneath the seat and take a look at that now as i said before there's a difference between 76 and 75 even though this looks like a 75 we've got the different caliper on the front we've got different uh, gas tanks now keep in mind this is a 76 however it's a 78 fuel tank and the reason it's a 78 fuel tank the petcock is being held on by two bolts under on the back side here now 76 70 and 75 is held on with a nut so that's something that we need to pay attention to now underneath here we don't have the documents or anything but we're going to clean this up we're going to replace these bolts here with some replated stuff and 76 uh oh this is kind of weak spot on these fenders see how this is busted this is all cracked out we're gonna try to find another one now we also have some other things happening here i didn't pull the side covers off or anything yet but for whatever reason we got a spring here i don't know if that's for a door or whatever but i'm not so sure we like that here then uh, on my previous videos we've talked about they've always tried to stuff a different battery in the kz 900a for some odd reason and i don't know why but see how this has been curled over and cut so i'm going to get to the bottom of that we're going to try to fix this battery box and we're going to try to get rid of some of this wiring here that's all we're going to we're going to find a home for all these wires 
and most likely after the dust settles we're gonna get it going because the customer lives in Georgia I don't want them to have any troubles with the charging system so I'm gonna put a, a Rix electric regulator rectifier on it so all he has to do is just drive the motorcycle instead of worry about it okay if we come to the battery box right here this is kind of an oddball battery and like I said before most people cut them this is what the battery box should look like in a perfect world now one of the problems that we're having with the KZ900A as well as the KZ900 LTD we can't get a they do not offer a battery that doesn't have a vent tube on it this is called a YB10LA2 we use Uwasa batteries here but to the best of my knowledge as of today they don't make a battery that's sealed for this particular model and that's why we're talking earlier I said that the battery was an oddball battery it is an oddball battery or they would have made it in a sealed battery a seal so it didn't have the vent tube now I don't like the vent tube but we have no option right here if we're gonna run the correct stuff so this is why the 76 uh, battery box was all butchered on almost every single bike you see because someone jammed in a battery that didn't have the proper size and I would say 75% of every KZ900 that we've ever seen has a butchered battery box today's the day we're getting down on your motorcycle I started gathering up some stuff as I told you we would remove all the paint from the motor we're gonna come up with a different cam cover for you and stuff because all that pitting we're gonna vapor blast the cases as we talked earlier I was gonna hook you up with the correct carburetors for it and uh, we're gonna fix you up with all the covers that aren't chromed now this cover here is good this cover is good here but as you can see the chrome's coming off here now if you come over here to the left side of the motorcycle you can see my nice polished stuff compared to the chrome stuff um, the chrome is starting to pit and it's coming off and I can feel it but so this will be the stuff that we replace it with okay so the you know that's it's all good aluminum and you'll be able to maintain this so um, Hilo rode your bike a little bit today just to see what was happening and your bike uh, doesn't have any engine noise the clutch seemed like it was working here's your other uh, polished cover here for the points where this is all coming all the chromes coming off this is gonna be nice and then we'll get you a polished one of these and a polished one of these so uh, I do have your uh, brake pads brake shoes and the handlebars that you sent us and we're gonna obviously we're gonna doctor this up you don't this is no good but anyway uh, just want to show you where we're at we're getting started on it today full tilt we got the motor apart a little bit and uh, as I always talk about I like to look underneath the clutch basket it usually tells the story so this this really is pretty nice uh, you can see through my finger so we didn't have any really gross motor noise or anything like that but um, anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to vapor blast the cases he's, he's going to pull this down I don't see any blow by really on the pistons but Hilo is going to check this out and see what we need to do if, if anything at all so uh, anyway we're going to change this cover here out all this is nice this is nice uh, usually this is all gooned because they put the wrong battery in here all right here that's not the end of the world this is still nice we're gonna fix that anyway um, we, we're gonna replace some of this cam chain stuff you can see this idler here is all gooned this up uh, we'll replace a couple of these right here the bearing came out uh, and we'll replace this right here this has got a lot of slop see how it goes sideways like that wobbles that's not good you want that straight so see the, this is the play right here 
Okay, so anyway, uh, now's the time we're gonna we're gonna do the frame, powder coat the frame. We'll get rid of this stuff here. Uh, we're gonna get some stuff polished. Uh, this, do you want to get these lower? My hands are all nasty, but do you want to polish these out like chrome? Or make them really just a lot better than they are I need to know of course we'll replace all this stuff here with uh, replated stuff we'll make it look nice but anyway I need to know if you want this polished or not I have uh, this is a this is a nice feature you still have this cover right here this is a nice so this indicates that probably the bike hasn't been fooled with too much on the inside so that's a nice sign that you still have that Hilo's gonna put valves in the cylinder cylinder head this is all the parts that came out. This stuff looks pretty decent. Uh, the cams look like they're pretty decent. Of course, we're going to change all the gaskets and everything and the valve seals. And here's your valve kit that we're going to put in there. So uh, we're going to get clean it all up, make it all nice. And then he's going to go over the valves and we'll try to get something going here. And then this is the stuff we're going to get powder coated again. Uh, I'm going to get you a different headlamp bucket because this has an extra hole in it. And I don't know why it's got that hole. I, I don't have an idea. But anyway, uh, I'd replace that. That's not really where you want to be. Uh, the rest of the stuff is, I mean, it's all pretty good. Oh, we're going to rebuild your front brake caliper and stuff. See the nasty stuff you had on the inside here? This is all kind of nasty. So we're going to clean this up, make this nice again. But uh, all in all, uh, everything's looking pretty good. We're gonna use your wheels. We're gonna use a lot nicer bolts and stuff on here to make it all come alive. And we'll make this all replated. Now this is kind of gooned here where someone's had a nasty wrench on it or something. So you wanna do something with that anyway, that's no good. And I'll put a replated axle. I'll take your stuff on exchange. So uh, just kind of wanted to show you where we're at. We got a hell of a good start. And uh, we'll get take all the paint off everything. You see where they painted the oil pressure unit and all that stuff, oil setting switch. But uh, we'll get to all that and we'll make it look good. And uh, let's talk about the tires a little bit. Uh, this is a Pirelli tire, but it's it's not that good. Um, it's I would say it's little over halfway worn out i'm not trying to push the tire deal on you but i'm just telling you that's like that front one's pretty nice front tire is actually really nice on the bike but um this is a michelin so it's uh i could try to uh look into seeing if i get you a michelin like that to match the front usually these fronts last two rears so uh i definitely Now's the time to do the tire if you so desire, but we can do it while it's here. You won't have to fool around with them, you know. Okay, I uh, got your header apart, and I'm going to my polisher tonight. I can't promise you create miracles or anything, but we're going to have him attempt to get the bluing out of the pipe. That's from the bike not running so good. So, uh... We're going to try to, I'm going to talk about cleaning up. Right now we're going to clean up in a slap sink, make it as nice as we can so he doesn't have to get his hands dirty. And then uh, here's your cam cover. Your cam cover is pretty nice. And this is the correct cam cover or valve cover or whatever you want to call it. Uh, because uh, it's got the right shape right here. So um, we're going to clean this up nice and have the uh, polisher see what he can do with this also. Now, what I'd like to know is you want it, the whole thing polished all through here, everything, or you just want it cleaned up on the ends. Genuine is like a blasted thing here with uh, polished right here. However, uh, a lot of people like the nice chrome bolts that we make and they like to polish this whole thing. Uh, this could be your option.
Uh, we got all your stuff back today from the uh, vapor blast thing as well as the powder coater. It's all the same guy. This is Ace Powder Coating over in the Akron. Uh, so the cylinder looks good. The cases are looking good. Did a nice job on the cylinder head. We This is the battery box that we repaired. This was all gooned up here and it was busted right here. So we got that all done. No no, one will ever know, except for us and you. Uh, got the door here that goes over the battery. This mounts in the uh, bike like this. And then this goes over here. You got the two holes right here. It goes just like so. And this keeps the battery from coming in and out. And also the side cover, it's kind of multi-purpose because the side cover takes a grommet right here and the, and the tab goes into that. I thought you'd like that. So uh, the triple clamps look good. Uh, everything's looking good. Frame's nice, everything's nice. So uh, we'll start jamming here pretty quick here and uh, I hope you like what you see and we'll go from there. Okay, thanks Mark. A uh, little, little more progress here. As you can see, the head is nice and clean now, and uh, Hilo has done a valve job on this motorcycle here. So the material is beautiful. The exhaust studs, all the areas are super, super nice. So you got a really good cylinder head here. Obviously no broken fins. And Here's the underside, as you can see. Everything looks pretty good. So the cylinder head's ready. Then here's your motorcycle engine. It's got a very nice pin here for the Spark Advance. This is the, it's up, I was obviously upside down, so this is the right side of the motor. This is all nice. Everything's nice. All the nice bolts. All this stuff is vapor blasted. Absolutely nice. Here, here the this side of the motor is everything. The shaft is good. So um, as you were talking about, we're gonna address the shift shaft issue, make sure everything is perfect like we talked. I'm sure everything will be perfect by the time he puts it all together. And if you ever wanted to know what it looked like inside, here's where your oil filter goes. It's so nice and clean and perfect here. And that's where the oil filter bolt goes inside and your drain plug up front. Nice. Everything's nice. Very, very nice engine. Here's your nice cam chain. The crankshaft is good. So uh, just want to give you some heads up on where we're at with it. We got your bike coming along pretty good here. We've got your front end about done. This caliper and stuff's been rebuilt. We got your fender on straight, it was on backwards, and this is probably the reason why there's a little tiny scratch right there. That's probably why it was on backwards. But anyway, your wheels turned out nice. The, uh, this, this, you know, these are your spokes, cleaned them up a little bit, they're nice. And these are all uh, the bolts and stuff we put back in it. And then, uh, Got your, the bottom end of the motor is done. Um, I didn't have any special shocks, but we put some different springs on your shocks. So we redid these shocks. You can see how nice they are here. Now, this is your rear, rear wheel, but this is our stuff right here just to get it up off the ground. We're waiting for your stuff to come back, get polished. So this is our stuff here. You can see how the sprockets junk and everything. But anyway, just thought we'd show you uh, where we're at. Of course, we're going to get you another... Uh, tire coming and we got this all kind of mocked up just to make it look pretty good and then if you come over here you can see the start of the polish covers that we're putting on here okay uh these are our handlebars but we're going to put yours on when it's time and then uh you can see our replated stuff here this is a the bolt and everything the handlebar bolts this is all powder coated, ready to go. And these are your fork tubes. These turned out nice. 
we're running a later style bolts here with the uh, washer. Genuine ones had the lock tab and stuff, but this is a more safe way to do this. So this is why this has been changed. And then also this is a genuine uh, Kawasaki fork drain screw with a genuine uh, seal behind it. And then this of course is replated, this is replated. Got your rear wheel on, got your tire on. So the back end of the motorcycle is done. Got the correct turn signals on the back. Fender cleaned up nice, everything's nice. Got the inner fender in here. We got some small scratches in here on the inner fender, but there's just absolutely nothing you can do about that. This is a good shape. Use the, all of them are busted out right here. So here's your battery area. We're still gonna try to get a band on here and stuff, but here's the, the battery itself. It's a sealed battery, so you'll, you'll never have any trouble. The absolute beautiful air cleaner carburetor setup. I mean, everything is just, it's just nice. Everything is nice. It's all nice. Everything's nice. Motor's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna try to fire it up here later on today. So everything's looking pretty good. We have, I mean, I can't really say enough about it. But anyway, we've got all the cables on it. Everything's looking pretty good. We got the chain guard on it. Everything blends so nice. It's it's so nice. Everything is so nice. The, the motor's gorgeous. Everything's working. Everything is nice and uniform. It's all looking good.
just finished up the sweet Georgia cow. Uh, we're going to Georgia tomorrow, the races, and uh, we're going to deliver it to our customer, Mark. I'd like to go out and ride it some more, but man, we, it's hard to ride them in the snow and the salt and everything else. But uh, good looking bike. go gonna be a good bike and uh hope you like it and we're on our way hope we don't fall down in the snow make motorcycles great again Woo!